Yeah. So the scriptures say our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, man. And that's on that's that's a lot of ways, man. You know, cause then then our kids, the, the children get raised by their mothers who basically just out their damn mind, they all bucked out and let the children just run wild, man. Then they grow up and run out in these streets and what happened, they end up killing and killing, killing somebody or getting themselves killed or getting locked up and they're destroyed, man. It's a uh, curse that you just read. You see it, like manifest. So I'm gonna read it one more time. So, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 20. It said, "The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke, and all that thou settest thy hand unto for to do, until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me." Yeah, and it says, it says, cursing, cursing is talking about basically. The most high bringing down evils upon somebody and it says vexation was uh you know our people was in a vexation vexed you know state of mind because they're just uh you know mad at the stuff the shit they gotta go through you know what i'm saying Yo, and, they, and then we explain them why you're, you're vexed man you don't understand why you're vexed this, they, they think it's the system they want to argue about the system and everything all the white man keep me down and stuff like that the white man's not keeping you down, man. Yeah, how about Shinya Shah doing that to you niggas, man? Shit, it's crazy. I see it. See service on service on horses, on horses. The SBCA company probably snatched the horses from me. They need to go to the so, yeah, it said, and then it says rebuke. Rebuke is basically correction because, you know, everything, you know, our people are always, we, like us being out here right now, we, we're, since our since we're under the curses, you know, we gotta come out here and basically tell our people how they're going on, what they're doing wrong, because they can't, you know, get right this. Right. Man, we come out here week in and week out and tell our people what they're going off with, according to the scriptures, but guess what? Then they still don't want to hear it, man. We telling you why you're in the condition that you're in, you still don't want to hear it. So Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. That's right, man. That's, damn. That's heavy right there, man. So the Lord, the Lord is not only gonna forget you, he'll forget your children. Here, here, forget your children. Just because you rejected him and rejected him is rejecting these words coming out of these scriptures. All right, it says, as they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore, I will change their glory into shame. And you know, like right, you know, like I, like I was reading earlier, you know, you had the blessings and then you had the, uh, the flip side, which is the uh, curses. And you know, we're basically living this uh, scripture right now because you know, we're, we're the descendants of our forefathers. And since they said it went off, you know, we're, we're being cursed to this day for their uh, iniquity, you know? That's why, I, that's why I behoose you to try and come back to the law, session and commandments of the Most High. Let me keep reading. It says, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 28. It says, the Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. Right, blindness and madness and astonishment of heart. It sounds like you like you, 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 you want to give up, man. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not you, you want to have hope that something's gonna happen, but it ain't gonna happen for you, man. You no, know? you're gonna curse you with blindness. Blindness not mean it's uh, physically blind, you're gonna be spiritually blind. You're not gonna know who you are, you're not gonna know who your enemies are. All right, madness because you're just gonna be like, like mad cow disease. You just gonna be bugged out your mind, man. That's what the Lord is talking about, man. When he go up, when he when he curses you with blindness and madness, man. Yeah, and then you know, like astonishment, like we're a lot of our people, they're like, damn, like you know, when we come into when we hear the truth, you know, it's just like damn. Like before I came into the truth, you know, I was all into those uh, you know, the the, the uh, black power and all that shit. I got like a black power tattoo on my arm and shit. I was all into that stuff, but then it's just like damn, like all right. You know, uh, Black Panthers, you know, all that stuff. They came out in the, uh, you know, 70s and all that stuff. And it's just like, all right, 
you know, they did their course, but it's like nothing changed. So I'm like, God damn, what the fuck is going to take our people to, to uh, you know, change? Oh, and I'm just saying, <laughs> and then I'm just saying, like, damn, you know, no matter what we do, our people isn't going to get right. You know, it's like they they, they too far going and all this. So that's when I, I see with the, uh, with, on the, you know, YouTube, and I see with the, uh, the prophets was out here saying, I'm like, damn, that's got to be the truth. I don't see no other way. You know what I'm saying? Our people is just destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And it's only going to be a small group of our people that's even going to get right because the majority of our people, you know, they don't even uh, have it in their subconscious mind to really try and sincerely do good and, you know, seek the most high and, and, and have an honest, you know, sincere spirit about it. That's right. That's right. And then, like, like back, back then, like the brother said about the Black Panthers and all that, they wanted to start a revolution and all that, you know? But what, what, what happened to that revolution that they was trying to start? Man? It got shut down, man. All right? Even when you go in, in Malcolm X's time, man, and he had all, all, all them guys together, what they do? They broke that up too, man. Well, first of all, he wasn't serving the right with the right power, man, which is Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh man. Yeah, the Mosai, he's not dealing with uh, Allah and Islam and Elijah huh. Muhammad and those uh those Ishmaelites over there in uh, Mecca and all that stuff, that, that's a false doctrine and ideology and all that shit. Like uh, eventually, if, if Malcolm X probably would have kept going, he probably would have changed his philosophy and did it. Right, man. Right, because right. first he, he, he was a uh, diehard Haitian Islam. Yeah, yeah, cut. One of one of them, F -O, not F-O-Y. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of like an F-O-Y guy. Yeah. He, was, he was one of them, right? One of the gung ho, then he went over there to Mecca and he was like, oh, I saw white Muslims. All that shit. So he changed. He switched it up, and when he switched it up, you know that's when that's when his people. But well, first of all, the, the the government tried to buy him out because he was getting at the getting the people together so strong, man. So the government came at him and, and offered the money. They got on tape, and he shut it down, man. He's like, man, why would I want to take the money, your money, when the when the currency is done, is, is uh, we basically depreciating. So he had enough knowledge to know that. Yeah, and he also, uh, it was a speech that he, uh, that he, or letter of speech that he gave, it was called Zionist Logic. And he basically went into how, you know, the uh, people that's in the land of Israel, they're not the real, you know, uh, Jews and all that stuff. So he knew, he knew certain information and all that. I even gave a speech, it's kind of like a famous speech, where he was talking about, uh, you know, he was talking to, you know, mainly Negroes because, Predominantly in a uh, nation of Islam back then, it was just basically Judah for the most part. I mean, it's probably like you know uh, Benjamin and, and all that stuff. But I remember it being predominantly Judah or whatever. So he was basically getting into uh, how it was a speech where he was bringing out you know an Ezekiel about it. he was telling our people that you know you're the you were the lost sheep, you are the dry bones, you are the people about whom the Bible is going to stand in the last days, and the trumpet of the sound and all that. So I mean, if you do that, why are you going to still Teaching our people about this false doctrine of uh, Islam. Right. That's because he was he was he was stricken with madness, man. And also blinded, man. Like the scriptures said, man, these scriptures don't lie, man. Alright. So it's so Deuteronomy 28 and 29. If thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind grope in the darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. No man shall save you. That's right, damn. No, it's a cut. It's a Deuteronomy 28 and 29. Thou shalt grow in noonday as a blind grope in the dark. That's right, you're going to grope in noonday. That means, like, uh, wow. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, with, uh broad, broad daylight. Get my words. It's broad daylight, man. And you grow up and feeling around, trying to find your way, man. That's what our people doing right now. They trying to find their way. That's why they hop on these different type of religions. All right? You got dudes that, that jump and that bounce around, bounce around until they found the truth, man. That's because Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shah led them to the truth, man. But if you look at our people right now, they're still trying to feel their way, man. They don't even know what the, like a lot of these rappers, man. Like the guy Jada Kiss, he had that song, Why? You know, he has to know these questions. Why, why this happened? Why that? Why this? Why that? Why this? Why that? You know, when he grope, when they, they grope him, man. So they're searching, trying to find a way, trying to find answers. 
to the reason why these things is going on, which we're explaining right through the scriptures. All right? Our people don't know if they're coming or going, man. Like our women want to be other nations. The men want to be females. The females want to be men. You know? It says, if thou shalt grope at noonday as a blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. That's right. That means you're not going to prosper in your ways. So anything you try to build your little organizations. Yeah, like, you know, um, back then, you know, um, even before Elijah Muhammad and all this, you had movements like the uh, the, the UN, UNIA, which was the, um, was, uh, you know, basically it was a group started by Marcus Garvey. Mm. And then you had, uh, what was it got Deuce Muhammad, uh, Noble Drew Ali, you had uh, Elijah Muhammad, the Nation of Islam. You had all these groups that was trying to build like some type of economic uh, black nationalism and all this stuff. And they were basically trying to, you know, like, uh, um, UNIA was basically uh, Marcus Garvey. He was trying to send people back to Africa and all that. But then By they the took him down because of, they said something stupid like mail fraud, you know. And then, um, you know, like Noble Jew Ali and all of them, they was even trying to, like, they, you have uh, wars and stuff walking around today, which I mean, if you go on like YouTube and saw another channel and all that shit, like, I was into that shit before I came into the truth. But I mean, you know, we're in America today. You got people that think that if you have a card that says that, uh, you're a Moor because their their whole logic is that um, basically, you know, they're they they fall under you know native being Native Americans, so they basically were here before citizenship was established, so they don't they don't fall under Esau's laws. But I mean that shit don't matter. Shit. If you if Esau pulls you over, you pull out that card, you think he's really gonna you know let you go and you're gonna you know escape martial law and all that stuff. Like, it's not it's not gonna respect that stuff. Right. You gotta be a little to hand out family. No, I've got man. What's your tour? Huh? What's your tour? GMS Watchman from the Delta. So I don't care. All one word. So yeah, man, like the brother said, all all these different um, you know, all these different different um, 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 organizations. Now, if you fast forward to right now, if you fast forward to right now, man, you have double time drowning out the word, man. You can't do it. Man. But you fast forward to now, you have that Black Lives Matter movement, man, which was started by George Soros, which is a which is a uh, so-called Jew. All right, he's a Malachite Jew, you know, and he he hates democracy, man. So he 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 started this organization and put a black face on it to get you niggas all riled up to go out here to get yourselves killed. Man. Why? Because it, it not, none of this stuff is going to pass. Whatever you put your hand to do is not going to matter, man. That's the reason why these things, these, these things have been made made a difference, man. You know when 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 when, when uh, stuff happens, it like like these unarmed black men, like Eric Garner, got choked out. You had these so-called unarmed black men getting shot, and then our people wanted to mark, go go and march together, man. That's that Martin Luther King mentality, man. And they put him in that, they put him, set him up to try to keep you niggas under, uh, to, to keep you niggas calm, man, so you won't wild out. That's the same thing that they're doing now, man. But time, but now, it's, it's, it's going to be for your destruction because that's the way the Lord created it. Because you're turning to a Black Lives Matter movement instead of turning back to the scriptures, man. Turning back to your Bar Shin Yaw man. It says, Thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. That's right. You shall be oppressed and spoiled evermore. So as long as you're an American, or wherever four corners of the earth the Lord sent, sent, sent you, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, you're just going to be oppressed, man. The American dream wasn't for you niggas, man. All right? First of all, the American dream is an American lie. It's an illusion. And when it says, um, matter of fact, I was I was watching on, on uh, Russia Today. No, matter of fact, I was watching a, a Dr. Serby video, man. When he was talking about now, now it says that no man shall save you. You have like, like leaders like Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, all these dudes, man. And all they are, they set up by the government, man. 
to, to keep you in order. And Jesse Jackson, them dudes been around since Martin Luther King was around. All right? They saw Martin Luther King get killed, and that humbled them niggas, man. First of all, they wasn't about doing nothing anyway. Whatever the so-called white man tells them to do and, and put that money in their pocket, they're going to do it. They're not going to come out here and teach you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans that you're the Israelites of the Bible, man. Yeah, like, like uh, Jesse Jackson. Like, you know, you, I mean, you got to call this title Reverend Jesse Jackson. Oh, yeah, he don't, <laughs> yeah, he don't have no church or nothing like that. All he do is just fucking, you know, put on his own. Um, Marching shoes and marching on the street. Like, like, yeah, like they even had, uh, you know, like that show, that anime, Boondocks or whatever. Like it's this character, Robert Goodlove. I don't know if you've ever seen that show. Yeah, but that's supposed to be like Al Sharpton. And it's like all he do is he'll just start controversy and uh, you know try and make money off of people. And shit. So, I mean, everybody knows about you know their their bullshit and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's that's like when something happens major. Like what, what was it with the Trayvon Martin thing? That, that's when them dudes go down there and all that. Why? To give them publicity. You know what I mean? It just gives them publicity to make them look like they care about you, man. All right? Them dudes wasn't set up to care about you, man. They, and they, furthermore, they wasn't set up to save you, man. All right? Like the scriptures just said, man, no man shall save you, man. So if you're looking to these guys for answers and thinking that, you know, they, they, like, matter of fact, you even got dudes looking. Our, our people are so messed up, they start to look at superstar now. Locking. Let's start looking at athletes, man. Like, like these athletes are going to save them. You know? Our people are in the condition that they're in simply because what we're reading right here. <laughs> All right? It turns it back on the Lord, man. So you turn his back on the Lord. And, and the Lord is a man of war, man. He's a cold hearted dude, man. So when he turns his back on you, man, listen, that you might as well just chalk it up, man. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 32 it says thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long and there shall be no might in thy hands God, that's right man they show you that in them slavery movies man yeah, oh man God, man God, God. like it's the son <laughs> yo these, these words right here is deep man but they show you they show you things like that in, in um in, in the slave movies, you know, modern day. Your uh your, your um if they if, if if the courts tell the, the the woman that she can have the child. Let me let me before you get to that point. It says uh Deuteronomy twenty eight and thirty. It says thou shalt betroth the wife. Nah, yeah, man. Nah, we right. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse, verse 32. It says, Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thy hand. Oh man, that's made me think about this. Now, modern day when this when this draft come up, man, and they they could just take the children, man. And them other people is the, is, is the so-called white man. Even back in the slavery times, I'm talking about when we were on the, on the cotton fields and all that, they used to split the families up, man. They used to break the families up, sell them to, a, to, a, to, a, to, a, to another slave master. And it, it wasn't nothing that you could do about it. When it says there's no might in your hand, no strength, you couldn't fight it. Because if you tried to fight it or go against it, they'd put you to death, man. That's why they used to take the strongest slave and, and, and make an example of him by hanging them. So the, so the ones underneath him weren't even, like, they, they weren't even second guessing. But they broke up a lot of families, man. Yeah, like, it's a show, uh, I kind of watch, it's on, uh, I forget, it might be Netflix or Hulu, it's called Harlots, but it showed you this one episode where you had this uh, black woman who was this Esau's, one of his slaves or whatever, and she, he had, I think he had children by her, or she had children, so when, before he before he died, he wrote her, you know, manumission freedom papers. And when he died, she was trying to leave with her children, but the uh, Esau's son was like, "No, you could you could leave, but they're my property." And shit. So God, she, God. she fucking um, she started trying to prostitute herself so she could make enough money to buy her children's freedom and all this shit. I mean, that's kind of going <laughs> off too. You know what I'm saying? God, God, exactly. God. 
So, so these scriptures, man, and we giving you example after example after example, man. you know. But like I'm saying, like with this draft thing that's about to come up, because once once they hit war, man, people ain't gonna want to join the military, man. It's like with World War One, World War Two, they was drafting people, man. No, and I'm gonna say this too, like you know, when you go to like college, because um, when I went to like college when I got out of high school. Um, you know, a lot of our people, Israelites, they usually get them like government, um, you know, loans and grants and all that shit. But in order for you to get that stuff, you know, you got to sign up, pull out, sign up for the selective services. So like they could just fucking draft you, you know what I'm saying? That's a, and a lot of our people, you know, they try and go into the, or you know, they want to go to college and all this stuff, but you know, they, they can fucking like draft you, you know, cause my, um, my sister's father, this is back in like the uh, 70s and stuff. He was, uh, he got some scholarships and all that. He went to like Westchester and his grades like fell below a certain point. So they drafted him into the Air Force. Right. And they still try to give you a little quote unquote college, college education and college degree. Matter of fact, you even got a lot of dudes that sign up for the military just to get money for, the, for, for them to pay for their schooling. And then, then, you know, the other thing is if you're in the military, they make it like you'll get, you know, preferential treatment before anybody else, you know what I'm saying? That's true. So if you if you plan on going to the military now, man, you're going to be put to death, man. You're going to die over there in that land, you know, because it's already written as biblical, man. All right? It says, uh, this is Deuteronomy. I was talking about it. Yeah, that's it. That's uh, this is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 33. It says, The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. Like like something that, you know, this makes me think about is the, uh, you know, the Dakota the, uh, pipeline and stuff like that. Like, I mean, you saw knows, Donald Trump knows the history of what happened to the Gadites and all this shit like that. But yet, to this day, you know, they're, they're the, the real people of this land, the so-called uh, Mexicans, which are the Ishikarites, you know, the people uh, the people that are on the sign, they're the indigenous people, but yet, you know, to this day, they're still being oppressed. They don't have no, Esau don't have no respect or sympathy for what he did to them, you know? Like, damn, how do, like, I mean, it, it just don't, it just don't even make any sense, you know what I'm saying? To this day, they're on reservations, you know, they selling them, they, uh, you know, they don't have any way to make money. They're pushing, uh, you know, they, they pushing alcoholism on them. You know, they, they, uh, they give a certain, uh, um, the, 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 the Gadites that sold out, you know, casinos and all this shit, which I mean, they're not making no money or shit like that. <laughs> and, and, uh, you know, I mean, they selling them, you know, bad food. Like, it's, it's documentaries or videos where, like, Esau would uh, open up a store and shit. He had fucking, like, old meat or ground beef. And he mix it in, put it, mix it in with good meat so that he would trick the get as they eat it, get sick. You know, they have some of the highest cancer rates, some of the highest ailment rates in the country, suicide rates in the country when these are uh, reservations and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And that, that's another thing, man. It goes back for, to our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, man. You know, because first of all, a lot of them Gadites, man, they don't even the Gadites, but the Lord is starting to wake them up. You know, certain Gadites are waking up. And also, like, even when we work on the plantation, what does that benefit us, man? Picking cotton, and, 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 uh, uh, you know, like the brothers that are the Gadites, they had the land, they had the buffaloes and all that, man. And, with the, and, and, when, and when the Gadites would have killed the buffalo, it was for everything, man. It was for food. I'm saying they would use the whole animal. He saw just start killing off the buffaloes, man, killing them off. You know, so the guys wouldn't be able to eat and all that. And they was just doing it for sport. That's how. That's how wicked and evil the so-called white man is, man. Yeah, it's, it's like I'm gonna say this, like the gang. You know, when they would kill an animal, they would use the whole animal. You know, they would use the uh, the hide for clothes. They would use the bones for weapons. They would use the meat for food. But he saw, you know, he'll just go. He'll just go hunting and just kill something just for GP. That's right, leave it right there, man. You know? 
Yeah, like, uh, you know, Esau, he'll just go hunting and kill the an animals and take out some stress and kill our Matter of fact, yo. Like, that's, why, that's why, you know, you got a lot of Edomites and shit. They'll just go in groups and go on hunting and trips and all that shit like that. And they don't even eat the meat or nothing, man. They chop the head off and put it on the mantle, man. Just like you had that Edomite over there in Africa. He was a doctor over here. He went over there to Africa, man, and um, and killed that lion, I believe it was. But it was a lion that 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 was like um, like real real mixed, you know. And he, I forgot the the, the significance of that lion. But the, the Edomite went over there and killed him, man. He was ready to put that dude head on the table. But they let him get away, let him get away with it because they said it was a sport. And that that particular lion wasn't supposed to be hunted out. So Esau does shit like that. They're wasteful. So, Deuteronomy 28 and 34, it says, So that thou should be mad for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. Right, you're going to be mad for the sight of your eyes. Because everything that you see around you, man, pisses you off, man. Yeah, like, you know, wake up in the morning, you know what I mean? They also like damn near everything. That's why, you know, the scriptures, you know, talk about us, you know, sighing and crying for all the foundations that are done in the midst thereof. It's like all this shit just vexes the spirit, you know. And your spirit, you know, the truth, you know, all this stuff, you know, it's not right. You know what I'm saying? It's an abomination to the Lord. That's right. It also says in the scriptures, um, surely, surely oppressor make up a wise man mad, you know. But yeah, so every, you're going to be mad at everything you see, man. Of course, you're going to see a women dressed like a horse, man, you know. The men going off, sagging their pants and all that, not that don't want to hear the knowledge, man, that the, that the scriptures are talking about. You know? Being like careless, not thinking about, you know, not thinking about, you know, the important things that are going on, just worried about fun, entertainment, and pleasure, like, yeah, like a woman. Fucking women right here, man. Walking around half naked, man. That shit pisses you off, especially when you know the truth, man. And you know that the woman's supposed to cover herself up and keep her head covered, man. Yeah, like, I mean, our women are supposed to be like princesses and all this, but I mean, how can you respect somebody that don't, that don't have no respect for yourself? That's right. And a lot of stuff got to do with the food that they eat too, man. You know? They they, they eat all types of pork, man. Uh, crabs. I had this one woman, man. That, that was her shit. She loved crabs, man. And she used to eat so much that she was bugged out her mind, man. Like, the, just the look in her eyes, you could just look like, damn, the, 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 the fucking... <laughs> The lights was on, but nobody was home, man. And you got, you got, you got dudes walking around with the same look in their face, man. You know, don't have no type of knowledge at all, man. You know, all all our people want to do is be niggas, thugs, and all that, and gangsters. And our women just want to be whores and bitches yeah, like and queens. Yeah, like they want to emulate, you know, those uh, those women on like love and hip hop and all that stuff. Okay, man. Man. I mean, that shit is like fake. That's right, man. All this shit, all this shit uh, pisses you off when you see it, man. But you have to endure through these things, man. Because at the end, the Lord going to give you a crown for enduring through these things and, and, and separate yourself from that, man. You know, you got to have that men the mentality to, to know that you're, you're above all that, man. And that mentality to know that you're better than these things. And that mentality to come out here and teach the people where, where they're going off at, whether they want to hear it or not, man. And it's obviously they, they don't want to hear nothing. That's why they walk up and down the street. You might have one person stop and listen, or ask questions or whatever. But for the most part, our people don't, they don't want to change, man. They're, they're content with, with, with these things, man. That makes us mad, man, to see that. And then when you curse somebody out, they want to talk about, oh, you don't love your people. If we ain't love our people, we won't be coming out here teaching them. So, to 2 Timothy 2 and 19, it says, Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High stand is short, 